everyone welcome back to my channel code with Hafiz. today guys i'm going to show you how to read from the database in single page applications so let's start guys let's open our project and text editor now in here let's go to our resources js components and welcome component well we want to fetch our data to the root component which is this welcome component so first of all let's create a row in here and let's also create a core md of 10 and move these two inside this call md and let's also justify the content to the center using a bootstrap class so justify content not around center and now if we go back refresh refresh oh we have to run our watch so open a command prompt window let me zoom it a little bit now let's first go to our project folder so cd dot dot slash dot dot slash before slash www slash laravel view and let's run yarn one watch so our code has been compiled successfully guys now if we go back to the browser and refresh it should work well let's force refresh yeah you saw that this button came a little bit to the left so it means our call md is working now let's get back to our code and let's copy these two from here and after this row let's first put a break and paste it let's close these divs also now inside here what i want to do is create a table so let's say table dot table with a class of table so let's create our t head and tr and th let's duplicate it the first one is for the count the second one is let's say name of the employee third one is for the position of the employee this one should be for the email and this one should be for actions for example edit and delete now after this t head let's create our t body and uh, tr and our td yeah but before going any further let's uh, get the data from the database using vue.js and axios so if i scroll down let's first create our data object so data parenthesis and curly brackets also put our comma and inside here let's create an object of employees which should be a collection well before that guys we forgot to return so return employees now after that let's create our methods field and in here we want to create a method by the name of get employees and inside this method let's say axios dot get and the endpoint should be let's say index and we want a then function so response at arrow curly brackets inside here let's say this dot employees we want to store the response inside the employees object so this dot employees should equal to response dot data well let's comment this one for now guys let's uh, fetch the data to the console so let's say console dot log and response dot data and we also want the catch field for any errors so errors fat arrow curly brackets and console dot log errors so guys to run this method when we start our application we have to put this method in our mount mounted functionality so let's remove this console.log 
and instead let's say this dot get employees and parenthesis so it will run this uh, get employees function or method when our ap application starts so now the next part is to create this index endpoint in our routes file so let's go to routes web.php and in here before everything guys one thing more that I want to share with you is that move your routes to the top do not gain, get any errors in the future because if you put the routes after this this any route uh, so it will throw errors so move it to the top let's create another route oh, guys we can duplicate this one so this one should be index and the endpoint should be also index and for the method let's say get now let's create this index method in our controller so let's go to app http controllers and employee controller and at the bottom let's say public function index and inside this method first we want to grab the data and store it in a variable so let's create a variable by the name of emps we should equal to employee model colon colon well we want to order the data by descending so let's say order by and we want to order by id and it should be descending or desk and finally we can say arrow get which will get all the data from the database and after getting the data we have to return it to the response so return response parenthesis arrow json and inside this json method let's say emps so it will return the data as json i think guys we are finished now let's try our code so if you go back to the browser let's refresh and let's go to inspect console you can see we have an array which has one item and if i open it you can see we have an uh, employee from the database and if we go back to the local host and employees table you can see we have only one employee by the name of Hafizola. so it means our code is working just fine now let's pass this data to this array and show it in this table so let's go back to our code and go to this welcome component and uncomment this line and remove this console or oh, let's just comment it now how to check this one well you have to install this view uh, extension in your browser and now if i refresh go to this view and go to welcome component you can see the employees object which is this employees object it has uh, one object in its array and that is that username that we have uh, in our database so our code is working just fine now let's create a for loop so for this tier we can say v dash 4 and let's put our parenthesis we want to name the variable employee and we also want the index of the array so n employees and we want our key which should be index 2 now first we want to echo or uh, uh, show the uh, count so we can put index of the array in here but plus one because the index of array starts from zero well in the next tree let's put our name so employee dot name and let's copy this from here and paste it here this one should be position and the third one should be email and the last one should is for actions in which we can put our buttons so first one should be for edit let's give the class also which should be btn btn dash success let's duplicate this one this one should be for delete which should be danger now if I go back refresh yeah, you can see we are getting the data so guys this was how to fetch the data and read the data from the database in our single page applications 
using Laravel and Vue.js. Well, the only thing that is left for this video, guys, is to check our create functionality because we want to check if we create a new employee. So uh, this should this fetch data should update. So let's go to create. Let's say this one should be jab and position should be employee and email should be jack at email.com now if i say create i should be able to see the data in my table so let's say create yeah you can see it has been put at the top of all the data which is cool and our data is fetching correctly so everything is working fine so i hope guys you like the video and if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it with, with your friends and don't forget to subscribe also if you are new to this channel. So the only thing that is left with our CRUD of single page application is the edit and delete functionality. So in our next video hopefully we will work on this edit functionality of our application. So see you guys in the next video.